Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Business for the Afternoon News. Now, cement manufacturer Dangote has blamed the recent attacks on its operations by the Association of Cement Manufacturers in particular on its increasing market share. The association early this month organized a press conference blaming the Nigerian company of engaging in unfair trade practices and dumping, among others. But speaking at a press conference, Managing Director Tor, Tor Nygaard said his company will only continue to provide best quality services to consumers. We are taking market share for our competition, which we continue to do almost every month. And, of course, our competition do doesn't like that. So they are fighting us and they are going to continue to fight us every week now, that's what we know, because they don't want to shut us down. They don't like that we are taking market share. And as he said, we have been concentrating on promoting our products, improving our service, improving deliveries, instead of res uh, responding to the attack we have seen the last year. That we find a time now that we have to respond and set the record straight. In the future, we will go back and continue to do the best job we can to supply quality cement to the Ghanaians at an affordable price. We just see that there are lots of advertisements for 42.5 hours. And when you go to the market, we see that the 32.5 is what's available. Their intention of, we are not accusing them for deceiving anybody. But this is a fact. You can go and check the market, it's 32.5, and you see a lot of 42.5 art in the, in the uh, advertisement. Now, as businesses look to expand their operations, diversity in skill sets, especially by way of gender diversity, cannot be overemphasized. Research indicates this is even more crucial at the highest level of corporate governance where critical business decisions are taken for business growth. Some significant strides have been made in this light at the global level, but same cannot be the situation here in Ghana. So what the way out? Former finance director of UT Bank and now CEO of Phoenix Limited, Pell Isua Mensa says more needs to be done. We actually have very little on policy um, on gender in Ghana. There's a lot on best practice that is trying that that is being put out there, and people are actually trying to get in line with the best practice. It will be good for us to have some policies put in place and not just about the fact that you have to have a certain number of women on, on the board but also workplace um, uh, benefits and environmental issues that actually favor women sometimes because women just go through things that men don't go through and some of it has to be recognized so that the woman can effectively perform. And that's all in business for now. There's more business ahead on the marketplace shortly at 1 o'clock. My name is Imano Abu Ajiriafi.